If you ain't happy here, then you should take a flight to a happy place and you should stay the night. Life is great, my dude, when you ain't scared of heights. How you supposed to fly if you scared of heights? You should take that. It's really great advice. And on the surface level, it's really basic, right? I ain't scared to fail. I ain't scared to fight. It's just the growing pain. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a beautiful Baltimore. Uh, as you know, I'm here to see Under Armour HQ, and that is it there. It's just over my right shoulder. Flew in last night, so I'm a bit jet lagged, but today is going to be a really exciting day. As you can see, it's over the water, so we're getting a water ferry over from the hotel, which I'm here now. You can see this. This is my hotel. Beautiful hotel, actually owned and, well, built by Kevin Plank himself, the founder of Under Armour, who from his office over here was looking over the water and uh, it was all a bit kind of run down at the time, didn't like what he saw, so he decided to invest in it, build this lovely hotel, the Pendry, I think it's called, and he built a distillery, invested an awful lot of money into this waterfront area to make it um, what it is now, which is a very nice, picturesque, pleasant place to stay, lots of bars and restaurants around. Flew in late last night, had some buffalo wings, of course, you've got to do that when you come to America, and we're about to have some breakfast, and then we're off over the river to Under Armour HQ to see everything involved in making Under Armour golf products. So let's go and see what they're up to. It's a statue of Eric Bagu, nicknamed Big E. He goes way back with our brand. Um, late 90s, we took molds of his body to make our very first mannequins. Rubbing his knee will give me good luck, so I'll rub the logo. Why not? Definitely going to shoot some hoops. Mazza, what are your basketball skills like? So I just lost to an OAP at basketball. That's very humiliating. <laughs> So we're now in the pit. This is the uh, place where you can come downstairs and train, but the only way to get out is via a, a rope, so I might be stuck here for quite some time. This is the innovation hall, so kind of the history of a lot of key innovations of the Under Armour brand, and arguably the most important one is this. So this is the 0037 Shorty Half T-shirt. Now this was the first ever t-shirt made by Under Armour. It all came about from the well, owner, Kevin Plank, who was a college footballer. He was wearing cotton shirts and didn't like how they got very heavy and kept him very cool because they got very sweaty. So he thought there was a better option out there. He created this shirt out of like a performance material and this was kind of where he started really. He was selling these out of his basement of his nan's house and uh, he sold loads of those and grew the company and to where it is today, which is a multi-billion dollar company so you can see the logo here is very different to what the logo is now i think they've been through six different iterations to where we are now if we move further down obviously got some key innovations from other sports american football uh, we've got this is uh, an innovation actually sent in by someone else suggesting under armor to put it into some of their products so it's a magnetic zip so if it's maybe if you're out skiing and your hands are a bit cold and you don't want to take your gloves off 
you can see it just kind of snaps in there magnetically and it's much easier, he says, to do the zip up. So there you go, you might see that in some uh, products from different categories from Under Armour. This is interesting, this is a 3D printed kind of outsole. This shoe started in a powder form like that, gets 3D printed into this kind of structure here and then put on a shoe, so potentially that's the future of maybe even golf shoes, who knows. Right, so this is the Make You Famous wall. So any Under Armour athlete who visits the HQ comes and they have their story played out on this wall, starting from this corner. So whenever they were young starting out, it would start up here. So we'd have like social media posts, adverts, TV adverts, all sorts of things, working all the way down to this end uh, where they are now. Unfortunately, I'm not big time enough to have my story on the wall, but on this chair here, right here, this chair, every un Under Armour athlete who's come in has sat in this chair, so the likes of Steph Curry, Tom Brady, Jordan Spieth, they've all sat in this chair and looked at their story. I'm going to sit in it now as well. It's pretty comfy. So we've got Jordan Spieth uh, after the US PGA, and a very cool video up here one of the younger Under Armour athletes dunking the ball with a 48 inch jump. That's pretty cool. Oh, it must be the heaviest goodie bag in world golf. So the new Beef 2 in the red, white and blue colourway. It's absolutely ram packed. Very nice. Yes please. I am a lucky, lucky man. Morning. Today is the last day of my trip here to Baltimore to see Under Armour. It was meant to be a travel day. We're not flying till later, so we're going to play a bit of golf this afternoon and then head back. But I've just heard that Under Armour have decided to lay on a special treat for me, and that is a workout for an hour in the gym at their HQ. So yeah, thanks for that. I presume they're going to work me pretty hard. I haven't been to the gym for about two months, so I'm especially unfit. Had a few beers at the baseball game last night, so I'd imagine I'm going to struggle, so I'm sure you'll enjoy that. I think we're doing some golf-specific exercises, so who knows, you might learn something that might help you in the gym if you want to get better at golf. So, let's go. So this is, a, this is an Uber XL. <laughs> You're right there, Smithy. <laughs> yes. Oh, brilliant. Lots of stuff to uh, fit in on the way to the gym. Probably shouldn't have had the full English breakfast before doing this. That's a bad call. All right, so we'll just do some things to fire up your glutes. You guys are gonna just we got this band. We're gonna throw it above the knees. Just stay low to the ground. Just do like a side step, working our way down to a 20 yard line. already I've already done the stretches.
workout complete. Hope you enjoyed the sight of me sweating profusely in the name of Golf Monthly content. It was good fun actually to learn some golf specific exercises. Often when I go to the gym, do the same thing every time. Often I don't think it really helps my golf game. So definitely was good to improve the mobility of my thoracic spine as Reed was telling me and do some proper golf exercises. And funny enough, we're off to play golf now. I've got my golfing attire on, my new Under Armour gear on and then we're flying home so it's been an awesome few days i'll do a summary of kind of the trip and what i think of under armor and how they do things and my experience here because it's been really really fun so uh, i'll catch up with you guys a bit later on So that's it, I hope you enjoyed that tour of Under Armour HQ in Baltimore. Worth pointing out, that is only a very small snippet of what we experienced over in America because there was an awful lot of stuff that we couldn't film. So they've got a lot of exciting new products coming out, so we were filming content for that. So make sure you check out the Golf Monthly social media channels and the website for when that comes early next year. The other reason why we didn't show you everything that we saw uh, on our trip is because you'll find out all about that in a feature in an upcoming issue of Golf Monthly magazine. It's the December issue, comes out in early November I think, so be sure to buy yourself a copy of that to get the full Under Armour brand experience. It really is not to be missed. Now I've got a special prize for you. For watching this vlog you can win a pair of Under Armour's Match Play golf shoes, they're worth over £100 and all you have to do is like the video and comment down below, tell me what was the name of Under Armour's first product. Make sure you include your shoe size in your comment and I will pick a winner at random and a pair of Under Armour Match Play golf shoes will be on their way to you. We'd love to know your thoughts on Under Armour as a brand as well, do you wear Under Armour apparel? and shoes, what do you think of it? For me, I've always been a fan of Under Armour and this trip has kind of just solidified that for me and meeting the people behind all the products, the passion they've got, the knowledge they've got. Even though it's a relatively young company, they've really matured quickly and they've created products that golfers really enjoy because they fit well, they're stylish and it performs. And I think if you tick those boxes, as golfers, that's kind of what we want to experience with golf products. And if we've bought something that does all those things, we're more likely to buy it again. And that's certainly the case with Under Armour. They're always thinking outside the box, bringing new technologies to market, to the product that makes it perform better in a different way. But without adding a lot of that cost to the consumer, you know, they invest a lot of money in R&D in producing all these technologies that help clothes keep you warm better or more breathable etc but doesn't necessarily come in at that top end price point and it's still affordable for the serious golfer that's it hope you enjoyed the video but for now here back in england it's goodbye